Hey guys, <clears throat> we've had requests for more homework type videos. Um, it'd be great if I could just pick someone out of the KGS crowd and say, you go do a homework and come back and we'll review it. Well, I don't know how to do that. So I went over to the um, active games list and just pulled up a random before you see it, let me change the names. Forgot to do that. Okay, now you don't know who it is. Um, and we're going to, it's three and four Q. And we'll kind of pretend that they did their homework. Uh, so that they played the game. One of them played the game. We'll go with the Whitestones. Uh, and then they came back with comments. So it's kind of a pretend homework. Regular, regular, sure. Mm, here, White should say, A is low and settled, making the top small. I should have played in the B area, making that Shamari. The left is bigger than the bottom, so B, wherever, you know, any of the four, right? Any of the four is what we mean. So we went into the smaller area. If I'm black, I'm going to say, I'm sorry, you're playing in a small area. I'm going to play in the big area. And then black's ahead. Not by much, but uh, it be easier game for black. The pinch. Okay. Check it out. The top is low and settled. Not interesting place to play. Then why are you playing there? The right is bigger. Let's play on the right. And just to keep things simple, what happened? White played in the small area, and you got to play on the right, which was bigger, and on the left, which was bigger. So the pinch is not right coming out is difficult you should just three three but it's not actually that bad uh this is a mistake we'll look at why in a minute let's go forward let's watch how white settles his group okay what's white's job settle the a stones okay and now, white has two weak groups. Instead of going from one week to one settled, one week to two week, wow, that's game losing. Game over. So what, what, what should white do? Help A and mm, hurt B. It's a lonely stone there. That suggests this move. And remember, the top is small, and our contact move is forcing white to take the top, which is small. So we like touching here. And it probably look like uh, white, black, white, black, white fixes. We'll have white fix this way. Puts pressure on black, and black says, yeah, I'll go ahead and fix that. I'll fix it. We'll just fix it this way. And then white would de decide, am I settled enough? Good question. And we'd take it from there. Okay, but this is just flat out wrong. Now, I find that piece of information useful. Uh, three cues starting to know what's going on they can do some fighting and they can seduce i mean it's they're not that weak but they don't understand the fundamentals you catching if you understand these few some let's do them again we looked at we look at character a is low and subtle, top is small. Now, as we've done before, the triangles are small. 
because A is low and settled. The squares are big because 4-4s four love extending. So the top's half big, half small. Well, the right, left, and bottom are all big, big, and big. So why play on top? It makes no sense. Fundamentals. Pinch, you're playing on the small side. Play on the big side. I'm not even on the right move here. Okay. Why? Just settle your stone. Playing in the big corner rather than in the center. What are we doing in the center? Settle. Settle. Attack. Completely against fundamentals. Okay. I hope you're getting this whole deal here. If you play the fundamentals, you're one done. Have they been hard? No. What does it take to play the fundamentals? Well, the biggest, most important step, don't put a stone down. You've heard me say it so many times. It's the worst habit goal players have. Oh, it's my turn. I'll put a stone down. Don't. Now, most strong players I've talked to, they've gone through this thing where you adopt an attitude. I'd rather let the clock run out and lose the game than just put a stone down. I'm going to stop and I'm going to think. Mike says, well, you know, my group's not settled. I think I should go ahead and settle it. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, my group is weak. I think I'll attack. Doesn't make sense. Okay, so learn the fundamentals, which you'll find in plenty in my videos, and then go do them, which means you have to have time to think about how do I do that. Okay. 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 It's my wife telling me how she's going to take our blonde, blonde dog for a walk. So she put the black dog in here. Okay, so you can go on this road. What's stopping it? Okay, we move forward. Oh, and I wanted to mention it's not that important. Why is this white move a mistake? Well, let's go forward and white settles the group. Okay, boom, boom, boom. We did it already. We put it here. That's a fine place. Okay. Um, the A group, out with shape, meaning it kind of looks like two eyes, B and C, both look like eyes. There's eye shape here. Let's, it might not be accurate, but let's say white's fine. Or if, let's say it's, white's not fine. Now white's fine. Okay, white's fine. Now, let's take that Q18 off. Did that help your life? Not really. I had to settle in the center. I couldn't settle in the corner. Ah, then why did you go to the corner if you couldn't settle there? That's why it's a bad move. Now, instead of, you can play here now because you already settled in the center. That's why you don't make the exchange. It's a subtlety. You don't know it. I just couldn't stop myself from telling you. Okay. Boom. Oh, my God. I don't have a clue what that means. Not a clue. Not defense, not attack, not big. What's that, a 1% move? Wow. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, black notices, well, white could connect under now. Okay, let's stop that. Okay. But, and let's say that's what we decided to do. We want to stop white from connecting under. If we look at the A-B relationship, A doesn't affect B. Nothing's going on. We bumped up, we bumped into a brick wall. Yeah, it's not doing a lot. Let's go the other way. Same concept, not 
oh, but now we're threatening cuts and eyes and space. This stone is doing a great deal more work. You always try to get all the work done you can. Okay. What gets out? Black does have two weak groups here. Corner first, yes. That's the one that needed the most help. White comes in. Again, this is silly. Let's go over what white should be thinking. My A group's not great. I am out, but just out. I'm not real happy here. What else is going on? Well, these B stones are also pretty bad. The only thing going in White's favor is the C group's also weak. Well, if I could attack C linking together my A and B, that's that would be great. So the first move that should come to your mind is this links it is putting all the white stones in a line, you know, surrounding, and black's getting in trouble. What's going to happen? I don't know, but we're using all our stones. I'd play this right or wrong. I'd play this in a heartbeat in a fast game. Just, what else? Just basic principles. Since we're here, let's play it out. Um, I guess we can go here. Let's assume. And uh, let's go for the surround, knowing it's not going to work. We can't surround. We can't kill. It's too too many cuts. Yeah, but this is the way to get the most forcing moves in. Uh, Atari. Atari. Okay. That's where we'd start reading. And uh, there's a few possibilities. Let's just look at one. And I'm not trying to put the best move down. I'm trying to get you to see how to read out two and three move sequences for directional understanding. So Atari, uh, take. Um, and now we're not cut because that's we're not cut there. Right? No cut. We got out. We sacrifice the stone, which, by the way, is not an eye yet. So, yeah, it's all good. You just go in a direction in a consistent manner, keeping principles in mind. Okay. That's crazy talk right there. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Everything through. White's starting to get happy. Black takes the corner. Good. Well, White just did a good thing. White got his A group, which used to be the B group. Now it's all one group. He's taken it from a stupid two stones to a virtually alive group. And all he had to do was give up some corner, which was probably Black's anyway. That's huge game. Uh, and now I can think seriously about attacking C. He plays away. Okay, let's, let's look at this. Um, where should white play? Huh, uh, maybe here? No. How come? That's the hardest place, not counting above. I mean, I guess this is harder because you're just dead. But this is the hardest place to play on the whole board. Play away from his thickness. Don't play on his thickness. That's where he can powder you up against a brick wall. So... This is way too close to thickness. If I wanted to play in this area, okay, you see me do this before. I would say that's my third move. That's my second move. That's my first move. Okay, 
let's go the right way now i can never find that unless i go backwards i always have to start on the last move and work away okay so let's say we're here and, and black says ha huh, now i'm attacking you great i'll extend oh aren't you too close to the wall no i have a whole nother step i'm not too close to the wall that's the basic way how to judge if you're too close to a wall uh i think it was church of ken 45 50 years ago played here and i'm like what that's too close to the wall well what's it what's up what's going on and the reviewers people who are reviewing it during the game they're going what that's too close to the wall i'm going oh they put they i'm agreeing with the other pros and he had trouble it was more difficult because he was too close to the wall i don't remember winner or loser but i sure remember that him making a move that is like you're not supposed to you shouldn't do that and he shouldn't have okay so this is just wrong okay let's look from black perspective how's the a group absolutely live are we concerned about the b stone no now let's check out the a wall oh i'm getting so concerned you have this amazingly strong wall near uh, could care less i'm alive doesn't bother me at all that you're right next to me i'm alive so waste of time for white to be playing here okay black attacks certainly reasonable uh i don't think so though uh the a stone's just not worth it i think it's bigger to go in one of the corners do something else this is i mean why can just give up the stone it's just not that important come out okay that's what black should do instead instead of attacking let's get my group out to help there you go not one of the corners defend your group white says ah oh, i settled near your wall i'm so happy great i'll just go attacking over here now okay i had forgotten about that black group on top if it wasn't weak then i'd be playing something like this settle on the left i have a black stone there let's settle over there but i forgot about this group a lot of hard questions here we'll make this the last move i mean we could go on this game would take us two hours to review all the way through <clears throat> what do we do let's start where most of us start i don't know i think it's important piece of information i've told you before the super strong guys seven eight nine dons they go they put a stone down real quick they know what they, they know they've experienced it a hundred times they can read it out in a flash you and me it's like hold on a minute thank goodness this isn't a fast game i actually have time to consider what i should do okay calm down what's going on uh we check our groups a group we know is fine his b group looks very alive we can see the two eyes so that's fine how about this a group uh really not a base out ish doesn't sound good so far this b group out alive not a problem get rid of that one the b what the b group that's not a group it's a stone we're committed to a we're not committed to b well then we should be defending a it's not great okay 
So we're defending A. We just broke things down and realized our first concept. We're defending the A group. Everyone else watching go, oh, the, the, the B thing, the B thing. I'm committed to A and I'm not healthy. Let's start there. Now, I've told you this story before, but it meant a lot to me personally. I used to play this way, right? Just like everyone else. Okay, I'll split and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, and I was at 5Q. That's funny. I was at 5Q. And I'm like, I'm getting so sick and tired of getting pushed around and cut and killed and pushed. I've had enough. So I decided in the next game I play, I don't care if I'm winning, losing anything, I will not have weaknesses. I, I, damn it. Okay. Pardon my French. So, <clears throat> next game. Middle of the game, I go, oh my God, I have three weaknesses. I didn't succeed. I don't like not succeeding. So I'm like, I went and fixed the first one that I thought was most important. He goes and gets a really big move. I don't care winning or losing. I'm going to go fix my second weakness. He goes and plays a big move somewhere else. Oh, my God, I'm falling so far behind. I went and I went and fixed my third weakness. He went and got a big move. I won the game. I couldn't believe it. For the rest of the game, there was nothing he could do, and I could do anything I wanted. My game changed from that moment on. I hope that story has some meaning to you. It meant a lot to me. Okay, so that's why I defend the A group. Let's just clarify it. To me, it's important. Does that mean defending the A group is the right thing to do? No. Nine Don Pro, uh, Alpha Go could easily walk in and go, what are you, joking? You have to peep now. Okay. Why? Because of all these amazingly complex reasons. That's not me. I'll just keep it in the 90% good move. That's up there in the dons, three don. You know, and as I get better, okay, I'll start producing 90, 95% moves. Oh, and I'm really strong, six don. Getting up to seven don. It's like, I don't need perfection, absolute complexities. So we're not saying defending A is the right move. We're saying it's the right idea. Once you get your ideas in place, you can start getting fancy if you want. Okay. So we've decided to defend the A group. That just means we're playing in the upper right quadrant of the board. We still don't know where. So what do we do? Back to the list. Back to the top of the list. As I defend my A group, is another black group I can help. No, everyone else is fine. As I defend my A group, is there a white group I can hurt? Yeah. The B group is nothing. Oh. Well, does that come to mind? I mean, it's the surrounding move. The Chinese word for go, wei qi, to surround with marbles. It's like surround. It's pretty simple. Now, let's check our math. Have we helped the A group? Oh, yeah. Any black stone in the vicinity will help us get out. He will either get us out or help us get out. That's no, let's put it in a different spot. How about uh, here? Did we help that group? Yeah. Oh, but it can get cut. Let's go ahead and cut it. I'm going to cut you. What happened? Black got out easy. Sacrifice a stone, but his group got out. Any stone in the area is going to be helpful in getting us out. What else did it do? Hurt white big time. Okay. Now, when we recurse through the list again, as we help A and hurt B, can we help another black group? No. Can we hurt another white group? 
Well, can we do it in a bigger way? So you might consider, is this bigger somehow? You know, I think it might be. It's stronger. White still can't get out, and he can't fight back with the, with cutting our night, night's move either. You know, I think I found a little bit better because I recursed through. They're both great moves, but I think this one's a little better. Okay, so we're going to stop there. Spend time in your game. Use long games. Think. Think about what? Go through the list. Am I okay? Are my groups okay? Oh, I need to defend. You just found what to do. You're going to defend. Now what? Back to the list. Can I defend and help another friend? No. Can I defend and hurt one of my enemies? They're not enemies. They're just friendly white stones that we want to kill. Okay. I hope it was helpful. Catch you next time.